Let's look at a scenario where the DC energy transfer is high. The HVDC is set to transfer north at 1,100 megawatts. Let's see the effect it has on the forward and reverse reserve sharing limits. The reverse reserve sharing limit is still 220 megawatts, but the forward reserve sharing limit has lowered to 70 megawatts. Our AC risks are similar to previous scenarios, at 310 megawatts for the North Island and 100 megawatts for the South Island. But due to the high energy transfer across the HVDC, our DC risks become 440 megawatts for the DC ECE and 340 megawatts for the DC CE. The DC risk must be covered by the reserve procured from the receiving island, in this case the North Island. Because we have procured enough reserve to cover the binding risk, which here is the DC ECE risk, the AC risks are easily covered in this scenario. This applies to both FIR and SIR. Let's look at the South Island. We have already procured 440 megawatts of fur from the North Island, 220 megawatts of which can be shared to the South Island. This is enough to cover the 100 megawatts of fur required, even accounting for losses and the effectiveness factor. Therefore, no fur is procured in the South Island. In this case, the reduced forward sharing limit has no impact, 